Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe. My name is Bas and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can use null objects in After Effects. So what are null objects? If you are an advanced After Effects user, you know this already of course because you use them a lot. I think, uh, just like I do. But if you're more of a beginner, then let me show you what null layers are good for. And that's quite a lot. I'm going to show you three main examples, which I use them for mostly when I animate. Uh, so a null object, let's go to layer, new null object, create one. And you have this, it's the default, it's the red color. We have this square, this just this little, this shape. And um, this really doesn't do anything. It's just an empty, shape which is used to control other stuff so let's give a really easy example if i have these faces here i have these guys i have these uh this let's just break it down i have the shadow in the middle here this shape i have this ball in the middle here and i have this face in the middle here and this face is parented to the ball and the ball is parented here to the shadow so the shadow uh, controls everything uh, but if i want to um let's say i want to scale all of these three guys up uh, if I do that, let's just select the shadow, shadow, and the shadow, and go to the S, and then scale it up. Then it all they all like kind of uh, overlap. But I don't want it. I want them to uh, scale up, but just keep the same distance and just keep on the same design here. So if I select all of three of these shadows and parent them to our null here, then I can um, scale this up. Uh, just keep in mind it scales it up from that point. So I'm going to place the null here in the middle first or let's place it over here and then I'm going to um, reparent the shadow layers so now this anchor point controls all of this stuff so now I can just scale this up and everything uh, keeps its uh, relative position to each other I could just move this around and replace it I can um, turn it around a little bit I can do every everything I want with it and it all keeps connecting uh, to this null layer. So uh, let's say I will want to scale it up and re uh, um, make a little bit of rotation here and place it over there. And then I can delete the null layer and then everything stays in place because it's just a temporary uh, empty layer that I used mm, to uh, alter all my stuff. So now uh, I can just change this back again, of course, but the, the null layer I used to um, just control all of this stuff uh, at once. Um, so that's a really easy way to create a null layer. You can always, of course, do that with a different thing as well. Uh, I can create a, uh, a shape here and do the same thing here. Uh, parent these uh, layers to this uh, shape and do the same thing like that. But, uh, you know, the null layer is there for a reason. It's just easy, an easy thing to use. Uh, just, so just use it, uh, I would say. A different thing that I use null objects for is, uh, let's say, let's zoom out a bit here a bit more i have this face this ball and i want this to go to the position and uh, i want to animate this on screen so now it kind of uh, comes into the screen here Let's make it a bit faster it takes way too long there you go and then i want this guy to move up so i need to go in here and create a new keyframe here for the position and then uh, this guy moves up like that but now it kind of stops in between a little bit but I want this to, uh, when it's over here somewhere, I want this guy to go up already, kind of. So uh, I cannot overlap these two because then everything gets real crazy. So that doesn't work as well. So we're going to delete that, create a new null layer. And there is a, a really long keyboard shortcut for it, <laughs> which is Command Option Shift Y. That creates a new null layer. And I'm going to... Um, uh, um, parent my ball to my null layer here and then I can overlap here I'm going to position add a new keyframe and then go here and then move this null layer up like that uh, so now uh, when it's here then it, you see it already starts moving up like that and let's give this some easy ease to make it look a little bit better for now and then make it full screen again so now as you can see it kind of moves up right here in between I can move this null layer a bit further it goes up a little bit later but that's how you use a null layer in this case which um, makes it a really cool and smooth upward motion uh, then uh, a really easy one uh, let's go back to this one here this composition here is composition settings it is 4k uh, let's say i want to make this a different uh, scale i want to make this uh, 1080p so let's make this 1920 by 1080 
so then everything is way too big I always create a new non layer command option shift Y or go to layer new null object I keep calling them null layers I'm sorry but it's null object of course but that's just how I talk uh, select all of the stuff that is not parented already because um, the ball and the face are parented to each other and then they are parented to the shadow so I only need to uh, parent the shadows here and the background to our null layer press uh, S on the keyboard for your null layer and then go to 50% because we just created a smaller composition which is exactly 50% and then boom everything is right uh, on screen again delete that null layer you don't need anymore it's just a temporary fix so there you go now my whole composition is um, 1080p and the same thing uh, of course if I make it 4k again create new null layer shadow 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 in the background parent that and then make this 200% boom you're done delete that so that's a really easy way of using null objects not layers null objects sorry um, for just controlling other stuff so that's the that are the three main things I use null objects for there are a whole lot of other things you can do of course with it um, maybe but uh, this these the three things are what I use it mostly for uh, thank you guys for watching I hope you learned something new from this um, if you did please give it a like or even consider subscribing to the channel for weekly new tutorials uh, if you want to download the project files for this uh, tutorial you can do that by subscribing to our patreon page uh, i have the link down in the description below so go check that out if you want to thanks for watching i hope to see you on the next one thank you bye bye